Max. Max, hello. And uh, hello. Uh, Max, uh, he's a uh, um, also a uh, superstar member, superstar student yeah, at Hawk and on. the Zynga system. And uh, I uh, wanted to share about uh, your experience uh, to my subscribers and also for new Afros English members. Please. Uh, Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you for having me. First of all. Uh, uh, please, um, uh, I have some little questions for you. For example, yeah. uh, why and when you started to learn English? Oh, actually, I started studying with this method um, two years ago. So, a couple of years ago, I was looking for something that could help me to boost my English. Because uh, and we 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 arrived at why no? Because uh, in my company, I have I've been working for the same company since 2007. But um, yeah, two years ago or so. Uh, my company decided to to operate a um, uh, cost cut, and so I was told that I had to learn and I had to know English, because was uh, the only opportunity that at the time I had been given to keep my job. Not exactly the same job, because I was proposed to move to another department, do another kind of job, but. Uh, I needed to, to know English and uh, actually I at the time I had struggled to learn English with a traditional method and so I wasn't able to, to, to speak in English, I wasn't able to understand English but that was very frustrating actually because I remember that watching television and speaking with other people I wasn't able to understand what uh, those people were talking about and that, uh, believe me, you know, maybe you uh, have or have had the same experience that I had is very, very frustrating. And so, mm -hmm. I started uh, looking on the internet, uh, looking for something that could really help me to, to, to boost my knowledge of English. And actually, I want to wanna be honest with you. I was uh, prepared to start again, studying grammar, making exercise. I thought, okay, I gotta do it. If I, because if I want to learn English, if I really want to uh, to to break through, I need to study grammars. And so I was prepared too to that. So you can imagine my surprise when I came across uh, AJ Hogg and uh, EffortlessEnglishClub.com. And I started watching AJ's videos, and those videos of famous several, the famous several rules. In one of them, is he, he said, "No, you don't have to study grammar anymore." Mm -hmm. I thought, "Oh, how is this impo possible? This, this is insane, man!" I, I mean, if you, how can you speak and learn and understand a language without knowing the grammar? Mm -hmm. After obviously step by step I understood that it was a different approach to study grammar. Didn't didn't mean that you don't have to know grammar, just you don't have to study it in a regular way. And so everything changed and that's why and when I started in English mm -hmm. uh, with AJ. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the, uh, when you noticed your first uh, improvement? Actually, um, it was after just six months. Um, I'm very demanding with myself, so I really wanted to get those, uh, those results. Uh, and so I started really a lot. In the first, for the first six months, mm -hmm. I studied every day, many hours per day, because I really needed it to, to say my job position. Mm -hmm. So I remember that uh, I had my first conference call after maybe five or six months after I started studying with with a J. And thinking back to that time is very very um, um, 
funny because I remember that I was wedding a lot. Maybe it's wedding today too, but for other reasons because <laughs> I'm shy. But I remember that at that moment, that at that time, and the conference call maybe uh, I don't know, maybe took thirty minutes, no more than that. But I was so scared because I. I was starting understanding, but I was with a piece of paper, I was writing down everything that uh, people on the other side were telling me, and I was so, so afraid not to understand something, because it's not just like you and I now, we are chatting, okay, if I understand something, I can tell you, uh, okay, can you repeat it, or if I don't understand something, yes. <laughs> and, we, and so... We, uh, we make something like this too. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. And so, um, when I really started understanding that something was really changing was after more or less a year. So after mm -hmm. a year, yes. Uh, yes. everything was absolutely easier. I was understanding without any problem. I started speaking with people uh, on the same level, even if we, they were from UK or from USA. Consider that right now my uh, supervisor from from USA and we have uh, at least um, uh, one chat one chat every week and so there is a relationship between friendship even mm -hmm. yeah. between uh, me and uh, my supervisor mm -hmm. and I can say that we are the same place because uh, you know it's obviously is a native I'm not a native but uh, it's completely different. So mm -hmm. that's the moment when, let's say, six months first call, and I was able to with problems, but I survived uh, after mm -hmm. a year of intense studying. But with this method, I really was able to speak without uh, uh, pretty much have any problem. Mm -hmm. And uh, we said uh, we taught uh, only two years. And uh, before, yeah. before, uh, have uh, had you any experience with English? I mean, through the school, through the university. Absolutely, absolutely. Not the school, because the school, I guess, that we had just one year in which we studied English and was very, very, very young. Mm -hmm. But uh, the experience that I have in a so-called actual uh, school uh, was absolutely uh, terrible, because uh, I spent a lot of time just studying grammar and uh, trying to speak uh, English in very large groups of people and uh, most of the time the other, other guys that were studying with me didn't want to speak English, they wanted to have rules explained in Italian because mm -hmm. oh, I'm from Italy yeah. yes. and, I didn't want, and I didn't want to I remember that the first day that I um, got into the school the first day and I wasn't able to speak any uh, maybe four or five words I spoke in English and I thought, I'm paying you, you got to understand me. You got to understand me, it's not my fault, it's your fault, you got to find some way. And when I was in the school, maybe they hated me, <laughs> but I spoke just English at that time, but it wasn't good. I remember that uh, after that period, I wasn't able to speak at all, and when I had to speak, I was nervous, I, I was thinking in Italian all the time, completely yeah. different when from what I'm doing right now mm -hmm. and you see my English is not perfect am I still making mistakes obviously uh, but if I said that I don't care now I just speak yeah. and I dream yes. in English yes. it was yes. it was fantastic yes. I dream in English mm -hmm. oh yes. come on it's yes. great <laughs> yes and uh, it's fantastic uh, uh, because AJ not only teacher he's also coach and uh, yeah. he make us so uh, confident uh, uh, when we speak in, in English and uh, uh, we just speak we make mistake and uh, it doesn't matter just just speak and uh, um, if another person uh, understood our message it's the important you can <laughs> we can use uh, absolutely sure everything everything and uh, Absolutely, you can. You have many tools to make yourself understood. If there is something that you're not able to say, or sometimes happens that you know, you just can't stop a sentence, start talking about that thing, starting from another point of view. There are many tools. You don't have to be too 
a war about perfection. Because yes. obviously, and besides, perfection is even boring, isn't it? Yeah. And, uh, um, and uh, you know, uh, many adults, they are afraid uh, for starting to learn English. Uh, and also, another thing is, um, it's good for uh, adults like um, hobby, learning language and uh, learning English also. Yeah. It's good hobby, uh, it's a uh, good spending time. Uh, when you know English, you I, can search yeah. so many things on internet. And uh, some people, they have Absolutely. all dreamed, but they are afraid. Um, what you, um, uh, what is the... Give what I can suggest to other, yeah, to other adults who want, who want or have always wanted to learn English is that uh, it's possible. Mm -hmm. Using this method, yes, it's absolutely possible. You can shape your learning uh, however you want. Con it depends on the job that you have or, or the, uh, how busy you are in your life, but you can study really when you want. So every spare time that you have, I, I want to give you an example. I study a couple of hours uh, per day when I'm driving, I'm commuting home and back. Uh, mm -hmm. excuse, sorry, uh, commuting uh, office and back. So every every day while I'm driving my car, it mm -hmm. takes uh, an hour an hour to to go an hour back, and so I spend that time studying English, mm -hmm. listening to a Jay's lesson. Mm -hmm. And the rest of the day, I speak in English with my colleagues. And when I'm not speaking English, I'm doing my job. I'm just listening to, to uh, an online radio. Mm -hmm. I'm listening to radio from all over the world. Obviously, I choose radios. Um, those are in English because it's a language that I like and I want to improve. Mm -hmm. yeah. And when I'm at home, I'm watching television. I'm watching my yeah. favorite TV series in English. In that moment, I'm not studying, obviously, I'm just enjoying the tool that I learned. So now English for me is a tool that is opening to me many other doors and is allowing me to do all those things that I wanted to do, that I tried to do when I started and I wasn't able at that time, but I'm able now, you know what I mean? So the suggestion that I want to give to all the people, all adults, the want or we are starting now is don't think that you are 30 or you are 40 or you are 50. Mm -hmm. okay. Think, mm -hmm. okay, for example, if you started, if you started studying English for six months, don't think that you are 40 and you want to start watching BBC, CNN or the last movie of James Bond or whatever it is and after you think, oh no, I don't understand the word, oh why, why, I'm studying so hard, it's natural, it's natural, it's hard for you. Yeah. Nobody, nobody needs to know that, but you can watch cartoons, you don't have to tell anyone. Yeah. In private, you watch cartoons <laughs> and you'll see that in two, three, six months, you'll improve, yeah. Yeah. okay? If you if you just started studying English and you want to watch a movie, a real movie, and James Bond or whatever it is, yeah. you're just wasting your time. Watch it in your language. It's more funny for you. Okay. Yeah. I started when I realized that, and I started watching. I remember I started watching Peppa Pig mm. with my son. Yeah, yes, Peppa Pig. I learned. <laughs> yeah. A, yeah, Peppa Pig. I learned a bunch of words. I was going yeah. with my son to yeah. a playground. I didn't know that it was a playground that caused in the last episode that I had seen. Peppa Pig was going to a, play, to a playground with George. George is a, is a little brother. Yeah. And I, it's something that I've done. Yeah. I'm proud of it because I learned a lot of things. And still now, watching cartoons with my son, because we are together, watching yeah. cartoons together, what do you think? I don't learn anything. I learn a bunch of words. Because those are educational cartoons. So mm -hmm. yes. my son will learn too with yeah. him. Oh, I'm enjoying so staying with my son mm -hmm. and learning with my first part time. Now I can, because now I can. It's, some, it's a great satisfaction to me. 
I can even watch my favorite TV series. Mm -hmm. Those are dirty, those are difficult, but I can. No problem. Now, after two years, now, not at the beginning. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, just, I can change. Thank you so much. Uh, I think uh, it's good for um, another new members and uh, for uh, new uh, people who, uh, for adults, uh, because they uh, think about age more and they think about, oh, my brain is so old for learning, for memorize new words. And uh, my uh, tips for them, for example, I'm never uh, thinking about memorize. Just words uh, keep uh, get um, memorized naturally. It's the uh, one sure. key. Yes, we just listen. We just watch something interesting for us. Not we not learn uh, uh, English. We just use English for like tools. Uh, like just we use. We not learn now. Yes, right? Absolutely. I want to tell I just one thing. I remember that the first thing that I had done when I started was to switch in English all the devices that I had. Mm -hmm. A cell phone, mm -hmm. my television, yeah. my computer. Whenever there is a, the, an option to change language from Italian to English, I did. It's not, it's not stupid, it's something that is useful because you're forced to use that device uh, surfing uh, in the different menus in, a la in the language that you're studying. Mm -hmm. yeah. This is the first step. And the other one is very useful if it's used in this way are social networks. Yeah. Not to meet natives, to have teachers, but to create relationships. I have a lot of friends from USA, from UK, New Zealand, Australia, I don't, I never use them like teachers, so I never yes. ask them yes. to correct me, they don't correct me, they, I, for sure, I'm making a bunch of mistakes, but I don't give a darn, that's not a problem, as long as they don't understand me, and as long as I'm understanding them, if there is some word that I don't know, there is a dictionary, I don't need them. If you write down something that is not understandable, I pick it up in a dictionary. I don't need to ask him, oh, what this word means? Come on, Max, you have a dictionary, mm -hmm. look it up and keep talking. Yeah. Social networks, using this way, help you to have new friends. And even without asking for tips or translations or whatever, you learn, because you, you get this friend that you have as, as other friends, and you get in touch with them too, you create a network of friendship all over the world. Yes. And that's fantastic. For, for this, if someone uh, is interested to talk with me, no problem, uh, can follow me on Twitter if you want. Uh, my Twitter name is um, uh, 1947 um, underscore Roswell, so mm -hmm. 1947 underscore R O S W E double L 1947 underscore Roswell and I'm I'm not all the time on on, uh, on Twitter but at least once a day I check for new messages and if someone uh, wants to know something more about my parents wants to just to chat with me no problem I'm always available. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Uh, Thank, thank you so thank much. You, thank you, Mira, for having me here. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. And uh, I wish you uh, boost your fluent in English. Uh, uh, grow up, up <laughs> in uh, close, Absolutely. To, <laughs> close to native uh, uh, English speakers, um, like second language. For example, uh, Russian language. Russian is my second language. And that if I know English uh, like uh, my second language, it's so good. <laughs> Maybe yeah, it would be uh, great. After I, years and years, no, I'm not forced. I know what you mean. Yeah. And yes. never forget that it's a it's a, a, a never-ending and constant process. 
So have a good day. Yeah. Yes. It never ended. It's just process and so interesting process. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, thank to you and to all, all the people who are listening to us. Uh -huh, thank you.